Welcome to the show once again. This is Maro, aka Darren Bicha Wazinga, and I have a guest. As always, it is a she. I'm always, I'm always excited when it is a she. My name is New News Eve. Okay. Um, I'm a young woman. Yeah. Who is in the process of opening up my own NGO. Oh yeah. Yeah. I so. Love that. Yeah, it's good. I'm trying. Yeah. Well, how far have you gone? So far. Okay, initially mm. I would say it hasn't been easy. That's why mm. I haven't opened up yet. Yeah. But at the moment, I would <coughs> want... Um, um, I've gotten experience because through acting, I love acting. Oh, so okay. when I knew that I'm going to meet you, it mm-hmm. was like, this is all production. And yeah. I love production so much. Yeah. I'm into acting, but I haven't exploited that ability oh. in me. You're in the right place because... Uh, <laughs> Behind the camera, it's Mapenzi Media, and Mapenzi does a lot of movies, okay. uh, films, short and long movies. Wow. Yeah, so. That's nice. That's nice. Trust yeah. me, I would love to exploit more about that. Okay. But through the first <coughs> thing I did was what gave me the platform was uh, NTV Uganda when okay. I did um, the Hostel season four. Oh, okay. I, I kind of featured in some episodes there. Yeah, oh, yeah okay. like uh, 10 to 15, some of them. How was it like like uh, being... Because the hostel was always shot in Chibuli, right? Uh, that was Chibuli, but this one was shot in Luzira. Ah, okay. Because uh, I was living in Chibuli when they were shooting from Chibuli. Yeah. So I used to see all those big names coming around okay. and all that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you shot from Luzira and uh, how was it like uh, being behind the camera and acting like with all those big names in uganda actually they are big names in uganda yes yeah. surely they yeah. are and it was a new thing yeah it was new to me yeah. but just because <coughs> i had passion for it mm. um one of my friends actually an fb friend a friend mm. from facebook okay. who knew me just like hey i've always heard you about this you like yeah. acting and everything yeah. but you've never got any platform yeah. do you think you can come and do it in a yeah. short notice i was like yeah okay. sh- why not i'm in mm. town <coughs> they told me like come and audition mm. for this part yeah, so yeah. they gave me the script I took it outside. I, I had like a period of one hour. Mm. I had it all in my head then. And then. Wow. then you, have so to, you, have to, you have to be sharp. After auditioning, immediately <coughs> they told me, stay behind. We are shooting you tonight. And I'm like, wow. this same part? And I'm like, wow. wow. I enjoyed it. Yeah, one thing that will interest you is uh, I have a friend who is called Morocco Mari, and he also is a great actor wow. in Hollywood. And he's, he always makes these uh, workshops. So you would really fit like to go and learn about your abilities and know more about acting and all these things i think it, it will work for you surely when it, when it happens i will definitely let you know i loved the fact that it's communication for development and then i oh, thought yeah. maybe it can also be used as a tool for mm. educational purposes yeah. through communicating you can educate people True. So having had that, I actually left the country, started mm-hmm. working in South Sudan mm-hmm. in some of uh, non-government <coughs> organizations mm-hmm. there. Because I did uh, a project with CLC, Communication for Life Change, mm-hmm. partnering with Care International. We did uh, a movie for them. We produced oh. one oh, yeah. for them, but it was like a short team with codes production. But we managed to produce a movie called Silence is Not Gold. Okay. Which was okay that sold us to IMC to International Medical Corps, wow. and then we also produced one movie for them, <coughs> mm-hmm. which was good. Wow. So having had that, it yeah. gave me the platform mm. I myself, yeah. and I'm like, if I can do it in someone else's country, yeah. why can't I go back home and I do this for myself? Yeah, yeah, so true. I came back because yeah. uh, by the time COVID came in, yeah. I was already back in the country. Okay. So when I came back, I went back to my village. Yeah. I sat there mm. and then I opened up a CBO, a community-based organization okay. for youth empowerment mm. that uh, it's for teaching youth mm-hmm. about economic, uh, entrepreneurship skills yeah. for community development. Um, uh, development studies div- uh, like degree holder. So yeah. I do charity with many other organizations. I mm. do charity with Uganda Women's Cancer Support Organization. I did with the uh, Uganda, Hands for Hope in Namuongo. I do with Viva Conagua, still active. Wow. Viva Conagua is with water. It's an international NGO. Mm. Um, 
I work with Soul Hope. Soul Hope is also based in Ginger, but it's fighting the Jiga spread and, and all those things okay. that people find uh, they, they're scared of and feel like it's 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 stigma it's supposed to be stigmatized and mm. they put it on only people from Busoga. <clears throat> but in the end, it is something that can it is capturing everywhere and people are scared of like saying the truth about it because they think it is an abuse but it's a disease it's a disease it's a disease that the pest uh, uh, tra uh, transmitted by those pests and mm. you know so it um, those parasites come because of the, the effect of uh, poor hygiene mm. so in a country that has one of the lowest income earners you expect that yeah yeah so at least we have grown not with with jiggers not everyone with jiggers but they have seen someone with jiggers yes so and uh, people are scared of really doing that so i entered that and i said hey i can sacrifice my brand so that i become an ambassador lead this on champion this and make sure people hear it first they will laugh and make fun but in the end i'm educating them and i'll be talking about this mm. and i'll be openly talking about what to do and giving that information to the people that need it. Yeah, sure. Sometimes people think, oh, whatever we do, we're doing it for them. But there are other people that really need what we do. Mm. And all we do is give them that service or the products or whatever we are doing. As long as you're always ready to <coughs> raise awareness. One thing yeah. I learned about it is that people may not know what they need. Yeah. They might look at it as a laughing matter, mm. but deep inside, when mm. you're trying to raise awareness to yeah. them, telling them what they need to know, yeah. some of them, there might be many, yeah. some might be like, uh, it's not <coughs> useful to us, mm. but then there are those little ones whereby you say one thing like this, they yeah. take upon it, and then it changes their lives. Yeah, there are people who are already, like always, there are people who are quiet in the congregation. Mm. And they made laugh along with the others, yeah. but they are taking something out they or picking something, yeah, or picking something. So I always give people advice that you're not supposed to keep quiet if you feel like it's going to benefit anyone. Yeah. Like even like you said, people don't actually know what they want. Mm. It, it it is also affecting the, the music industry. People think, I mean, the musicians think people know what they want. No, it is a product. Mm. You you make it and you convince people to take it. To take it. So, if you've managed to convince them that they want this, it doesn't mean that they only want that. Mm. Another person can come with a product, a different Something product, different and say, product you know what, also sell it. this is what you need. This mm. along with that, but people always think, okay, if this product is working, then you have to throw in every every. It's a syndrome actually, because I remember sometime in history, mm. U Uganda had. Um, was exporting more uh, coffee. Yes, I think I we had a lot, of coffee. a lot of coffee. And then, still do. Yeah, and then uh, sometime information comes in Uganda that um, vanilla is the biggest seller mm. in maybe was it Latin America? Then they cut down the trees. Actually, it was moringa. They cut down the trees. They put moringa everywhere. It's moringa. Then they say, ah, the market went down. What you should do is we have the market for vanilla. Okay. So those were wise. Put the vanilla plant because it's a climber. Put it on 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 the, you know, on on the coffee tree mm. and also on the on the moringa. And those ones survived. But other people just cut the whole cut field and, and tried to invest in that one product that everyone thinks that was has selling more, at the yeah, moment. because one kilo was fifty fifty mm. k, and that's you know a lot. If you have like ten kilos, you are which already in the villages. Mm. So right now the problem that is going on is the, is the outgrowing of, of uh, sugarcane. Because there's a lot in the east, like there's a lot of sugarcane producers, uh, sugar meta and also there, yeah. Yeah, Madivani. So all these people and Kakira. Mm. <coughs> so outgrowers serve like the other main uh, um, factories mm. and that as a result, people are cutting, uh, cutting, uh, cutting down their plants and whatever to make a large tract of, you know, land with only uh, sugar cane. And in the end, they are losing because there are many other outgrowers. Outgrow yeah. And uh, I think it's a syndrome. So we, we have that problem of putting this product like ahead of everything. I would say we are easily distracted. <coughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, so so putting it back to the music industry, my point was mm. like when when a style comes, everyone is like, oh, this is the style. Yeah. So you should stop singing because mm. this is the style, and these guys, they forget that that style can concurrently like you know last they, the, a bit. They see the same way with the other one. I mean, they can work concurrently. They can be. Coexist they can all exi- yeah, coexist, coexist yeah. so that they can work hand in hand. They can yeah. exist together. The yeah, same cause time, cause we are all I can listen to this and then listen yeah. to this at the same time. Um, after this, the other one, you know. Exactly. So in the end, people get confused and one, you know, sometimes the, the genres come and go. I would like to know your biography. <coughs> well, I would say I'm by name's Magada Ronald. Magada Ronald. Yes, M A G A D A. Mm. And uh, Ronald. Um, I was born in Bowenge, Bowolero. Okay. And um, I am like the firstborn mm-hmm. of many, many siblings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> many, many siblings. Mm. And I have many mothers. Yes. Um, uh, my biological mother left when I was three. Oh. So I've been raised by a lot of mothers. I've been through schools like Bupa Dengo, that's mm. for P7. I've been at um, Light College, Light College Mukono, that's yeah. for A level. Although there are other schools in between. Uh, yes, yeah. but we can keep them. Yeah, that's the why main I'm going. I'm where go- the certificates come from. Exactly. <laughs> so um, Light College is O level, then Glover High, mm. that's my S6. Then uh, Macquarie University, I had the longest um, certificate because, I mean, the longest studies mm. because I entered it in 20, 2007 and then I finished in 2015 because I asked for a dead year because music was, you mm. know. <laughs> At the verge of breakthrough. Yeah, you know, music was taking over. I had to ask for a dead year and, and went back. Okay. Yeah. That's how, that's how, that's how. I, you know, graduate, mm. and uh, yeah, that's a little bit of what that's I am. a little bit of your biography, yeah. which is like, thank you. I'm glad that I is know that is that. without the music. I'm yeah, without the music, music. Yeah. yeah. So, um, <coughs> I want to know, minus your bio, mm. who is Mara as a well, person? Huh. That question I would ask the guys behind the camera. Mara is an ambitious guy. Ambitious, okay. Mm-hmm. Creative. 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 Some things I didn't even know, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Aggressive. Okay. Interesting. It's getting interesting, too. <laughs> Those three, All right. yeah. Those All right. three. Those three. OJ. Yeah, you can do Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, that's a bit... We can develop what, from that. Yeah, that's um. a bit from, from, uh, from Charles, I can say. That's the truth. Mm. I've been writing all my music mm. ever since I started. And for example, that that would be part of the creative. The creative part of it. Yeah, and uh, I write a lot. Of, I have a lot of ideas in mm. my head, but this is one of the first executed ideas. Mm. When I sold it to Charles, he bought it, mm-hmm. sold it to the bosses, and now we're here. And then we, this baby was born. Think okay. with Maro. Yes. So it, it is. To take you through it, it's it's an idea where we sit down and, you know, we are point, pointless mm. on purpose. We are just not having a point. We are mm. just thinking, just, just talking thinking about, anything, talk about anything. 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 So that you as a fan or as a friend, as a new friend, you get to relax yeah, and get to know me. And also I get to know you. And also sure, the people yeah. get to know what I think about different things. Uh, yeah, the that, that's the like, yeah, yeah, that's the main, that's the main thing. So that's one of the things, and um, I think about being so ambitious. Yes, I am. I've been managing myself for years now. Okay. And uh, I don't know. I I I am really like always on on, on it. I I'm think that's where the aggressiveness the comes in because you're aggressive yeah. to the point of trying to achieve your ambition. Yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. just like, you know, you're ambitious. Yeah. You have to keep it going. I go for and it. I go there for is it. no room for soft people. No, no, no. I go for it. Although I I must say, <coughs> as, a, as a person, 
I'm a soft person. Mm. I like to listen. Okay. And I like to waste away stuff. Mm. I don't just jump to a conclusion. Mm. You may do something wrong to me and it may take me a while to actually react, react wrong. upon it. <laughs> to react <laughs> wrongly. wrongly upon yeah, it. because because I feel like maybe you were not in your state of right state of mind. Mm. So I, I I wait and yeah, I can resolve the thing because most of the times we forget that the mouth creates Mm. Yeah. So, so many things. You have to be careful when you react. Mm. You have to know exactly in what context are you expressing yourself. Yeah. Yes, uh, with another person. You may lose a friend or you may uh, lose an opportunity because that may not be a friend, but it's a person who has an opportunity to relate to you, but um you know because I feel like there are small, <coughs> small things, you know, a million mm. little things yeah. that make friendship or break it. And it exactly. comes from our words. Um, <coughs> in your own words, mm. what is life? Well, life is a timed, long stay on earth. It's quite long, but it's timed. Mm. Like you feel like, okay, tomorrow I'm doing this. If you have a plan for tomorrow, mm you don't put dates on your life mm. um and the difference between african life and elsewhere is that we have no plan we have no plan yeah we don't even have a plan for tomorrow yeah you get so, so just leave <coughs> yeah yeah so sometimes life we get the meaning we get the meaning later, mm. but the meaning is actually, it means leave. You try to make as most of it like mm. every day. Every day, every yeah, day. Yeah, because make the most of it anytime. In Africa, it's about who see uh, who is seeing me and how do they see me, how do they take me. Yet that's not living your life. Mm. Live your life the way you want it. Because um, I remember one time I was in a club. Okay. There's this real superstar mm. to me she's one of the greatest but she was uh like she she was a bartender mm. yeah she was in a bar making money you think okay uh i'm a musician so why do i go to a bar and and you know try to wait i'll she's get you she's a waitress mm. but recently i saw her buying a car and okay. all these things mm. she's buying a car in the u.s mm -hmm. mm. and I'm not sure she's going to go back into wait, wait, wait waiting. Weight tracing, yeah. yeah. You know, so that's what I'm saying. That I feel like we also have this thing of like, oh, I'm a star. I'm not going to do this. Oh, you, some people are not are not actually anywhere, mm. but they care about what other people are going to say about them. They lose time mm. in that way because they're not living their, their life. So late, later they will be like, oh, I've been living my life trying to please people mm. around me mm. yet i had i had you know t i had no time you know that's when they try to do it and then it's too late for them to actually try to do everything for themselves okay yeah because um, time is lost because mm, to supplement to that because i can <coughs> feel like life is a kind of series of choices yeah. whereby uh you get to choose uh, it's yeah. all about you you yeah. choose whether you do wrong or right at the end of the day it's right. all about you yeah, life is really about choices. I made an album called 89 Good Decisions. Okay. And everyone was like, uh, why 89? I was like, yes, this is an album that has songs that are not talking about decisions. Mm. But this message is to tell you that um, at least 89% of your decisions mm. have been good. That's been why good. you are... Alive. You are and you are alive. Yeah, and you, yeah. Or you are where you are. So it is the decisions, yes or no, or to, to different mm. opportunities that puts us in different levels on different levels. Mm. Yeah. What's your political view um, in, in Uganda? In Uganda. What would be your say <coughs> about it? What um, would you talk about politics in Uganda? Well, there's a reason why I don't really talk about politics because I'm, I'm a humanitarian. Good. And I feel like I don't want to have a certain color. It was certain, important that I bring that out. That's why I know, wanted that exact answer. Exactly. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want to, to, to tag myself onto a party. You don't tag need myself to have a onto side. Some, yeah. some needs for another request. Like, mm. I don't want to give people 
uh, false, you know, mm. uh, expectations, expectations or like get them to uh, bribe them. Like yeah. for example, in, in, in politics, there's uh, people, people also give sugar, give whatever uh, commodities and say, mm. if you vote for me, that is, to me, it's clearly you are bribing. Mm. But bribe. I go to like, for example, I go to Buyala and I go with my water filters from Viva Conagua, mm. they're called purifier. I just say, hey, anyone in need of this, I can teach them how to use it and it's helpful. Then I explain, then the chairman points five people, I give them, I sit there with them, teach them how to use it, and then I come check to check on them to see if they have learned how to use it or if they use it. Mm. Basically, that's it. I, I feel like they're not going to say, oh, he brought us this, this and I'm going to vote for him. And then it's not that they're going to say, if he doesn't bring me, mm. and uh, me, me, if he doesn't bring one for me, I'm not going to vote for him because he brought one for my neighbor. Sure. No, if I bring for the neighbor, <laughs> they're like, oh, good. Mm. He brought for the neighbor. That's nice. That's nice. Because there's no tag behind me. Yeah. I'm not trying to ask for support, no. even with my music. <laughs> Get, 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 get